He's got a way lives in heaven to equalise. And take it to extra time. He gave away a penalty. It should have been advantage by Watford. And it's Conde, the driver, who this time is the fifth penalty taker for Chelsea in the final shootout. your home country, you ended a civil war through sport. Please welcome Chelsea striker Didier Drogba! Bonsoir, Didier. Bonsoir. No. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very thank good. You. Because, uh, of course, tomorrow is the FA Cup. It's a very important match. Yeah, it's an important game. You know, it's a final and against Liverpool. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I just say to any Chelsea fans watching, uh, this is pre-recorded, so as you're watching, Didier is, in fact, at home asleep resting. <laughs> Are you at home asleep resting? Of course I am. Oh, you are. <laughs> so you've been at uh, Chelsea since 2004, okay. so uh, eight years. Is that? Yes, it is eight, eight years. Eight years, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and obviously, I'm sure you're very happy there. I'm sure you're going to be there for many, 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 many yeah. years. I'm sure you have no intention of leaving and going anywhere. I love this club, you know, and, uh, you know, this, those last eight years have been the best in my career. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, in my entire life, you know, and uh, I'm happy in London, so I'm here. Okay. The 11th of March, 1978, Abidjan, capital of Ivory Coast, saw the birth of arguably one of the best strikers of all time. Didier Drogba, or Tito as he was known to family and friends, didn't grow up in Ivory Coast throughout his whole childhood, but moved to France aged five. Drogba was initially a right back. This aggravated young Drogba's uncle, Michel Goba. Michel told Drogba, what are you doing stuck back there? Get up front. In football, people only look at the strikers. His cousins and his uncle Michel became a second family. He left his parents back home in the Ivory Coast. He was very young. I went with my, my uncle in France at five years old. Michel Goba earned himself a living in the French lower <laughs> leagues. Wherever he went, young Didier had to follow. It was a stark education, a nomadic childhood, which eventually led to Paris and to an amateur club called Le Valois. Their stadium has nearly vanished, but the memories of the young Drogba are as fresh as they are honest. C'était quelqu'un de, de très physique, technique, mais devant le but, maladroit. C'est pas, c'est pas un Pelé, hein? C'était pas un Pelé. No Pelé. But he had enough to get noticed. On dit toujours que les pommes sur un pommier elles tombent pas en même temps, elles mûrissent pas en même temps. Lui, ça a été ça. Lui a fallu quatre ans pour vraiment apprendre le métier de footballeur. At 18, Mark Vestelop took him to Le Mans as an apprentice. On s'était dit ça va faire un bon joueur de deuxième division, voire peut-être de première division, mais d'abord un bon joueur de deuxième division. A late starter then. Suddenly, though, at 25, it happened. Marseille meant big time, but a goal against Porto changed things once more. Jose Mourinho was about to move, and so, reluctantly, was he. It was in the pocket. I say it's fantastic, but I don't want to go. He couldn't have been unhappier. Chelsea and Drogba were no natural fit. At first, both player and fans were locked in a standoff. His first seasons, for all their great successes, were weakened by doubt and a serious PR problem. Est-ce qu'il a prolongé? Euh, oui. So many times I've watched him, I've had to get up and leave the room. I said, excuse me, doing my editing. Moi, quand on discute, je lui dis, moi, j'étais un bon plongeur, mais toi, il faut que c'est resté debout. Le public, ça sifflait, d'autres. Mais il avait toujours la confiance de Mourinho. Didier doit être reconnaissant. Et il a été reconnaissant par rapport à lui. Et peut-être un jour, ils se retrouveront. 
The cup final of 2007. On the final whistle, Mourinho vanished and Drogba went chasing after him. It was to be the last trophy they would win together. Six months later, his mentor was gone. Red card for Didier Drogba. And his demons grew noisier. Now 30, just how many more finals would there be? He doesn't want to lose. It's normal. His family protect his flaws, are proud of his game and are convinced of his future. Il va aller encore plus haut. On va pas, on pourra pas le décourager comme ça parce que tant qu'il n'a pas gagné la Coupe d'Europe, il va, il va lutter pour la gagner. So much is true. Under Hiddink, the football is back. Drogba is now as good as ever. Thank you. Um, thank you for giving me the chance to, to, to show you what I was able to do. Thank you for supporting me when uh, I, was, I was struggling here, when I was in difficult moments. Thank you for, for praying for me when, uh, when I was on the floor uh, a few months ago, because it was really a bad experience. And uh, my, my mission, I was on a mission for, for you, for the fans, because uh, a lot of you guys told me to, to, to do everything to bring the Champions League. So I spoke with my teammates a few, few months ago and I told them that uh, we have to go and bring the Champions League to the, to the fans and, and, and for the club. So I'm happy and I'm really happy that uh, we managed to, to do it. And uh, all together, the fans, the players, and the club, all the people working at the club made this story today. And uh, this will be something that we will always share. That's uh, something that will be in our, in our head. And uh, blue will always be our, our blood and our heart. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything.